Okay, so let's take a closer look at these tools. Uh, so the ones with the green handles or the dark red handles have this little metal part at the top. If you notice that your tool is kind of wiggling around on you, it's probably because this part right here has come loose. So then you just simply twist it. If it comes all the way loose and your tool falls out, come and get me because I want to make sure we don't lose any of the parts in here. We want to keep that all together. Now these ones are a little bit um, more simplified. So this top right here screws up and down. So if it starts to wiggle on you, just tighten it here. These ones stay in there pretty good. All right, and there's two ways to approach this project. You could take your eraser and just go for it, or you can plan out your design. So to plan out your design, to do that step first, I simply traced my eraser to make a grid of two by two. And then I'm gonna plan out what I want to design inside that grid. So let's say I want a flower. Think kind of about the petal shape. I don't know, I'm just coming up with this randomly. Now keep in mind, this square is going to be the same as this one, as this one, as this one. So anything I do inside this square, I'm going to repeat in my other squares. Think about designs rather than pictures. I don't like that petal shape. <laughs> that looks bad. I'm going to change it. Uh, and try to avoid words because there's some extra planning that goes into that because it's going to be backwards. So now that I have kind of a simple design that I like, I think about each square. So what I'm going to carve is what one square looks like. All right. And then to carve. All right. So I'm going to kind of plan this out by drawing in pencil first what I think I'm doing. I'm changing it up a bit. I don't really like my design. All right, so I have a design that looks something like that. Now I'm gonna take my tool, and the V part of my tool is what carves. So I'm gonna take the V part, gently push it into the rubber eraser and then carve away from myself. So I move the tool, but I also move the eraser. In fact, actually I probably keep the tool pretty steady, but most of it is me moving the eraser around to make my lines. And see how deep my lines are? If they're um, not as deep as that, I can just go back and take out a little bit more. If I go too deep, I can't put it back. So be careful, go slow. Don't go too deep into the rubber. Um, it might break on you. All right, good luck, have fun.